Hey, what's up guys? Dizzy Nuts here with another video for you guys. And today I'm gonna to show you how I shot this. Now, if you recognize that ride, obviously it's Dinosaur from Animal Kingdom. It's pretty dark, pretty fast, and a lot of stuff happening at the same time. So how would I get this shot, right? Okay, for this photo, we're gonna be using a technique called spray and pray. It's basically, you hit the shutter release button and you just let the camera go, take as many photos as you can. And then hopefully when you come back, you pray that you got something good among all those shots that you took. Now, the reason that I use this technique is pretty simple. During the ride at the real beginning, as you know, before you're getting launched into the past, there's actually some strobe lights going on and some other stuff happening. So I wanna try to be able to capture the moment where the strobe lights are actually on and be able to catch as much as possible, which is what I did in this photo. And the only way that I was able to get this shot was actually using that technique of spray and pray. Of course, I got like 20 or 30 photos that aren't really good at all, but there's always that one or two like this one that I was able to get everything really well lit. Now there's other rides in Magic Kingdom that does something similar, in this case Pirates of the Caribbean. Just before the drop, if you look to the right, there's a pirate driving a boat and there's a thunder in the background. If you wait for the right moment and you do this technique, which is where you hit the button and you leave it pressed while you think it's going to happen, you'll actually be able to get the shot, like here. Or you can do what I did in this third case, which is where there was a person taking a photo with a cell phone and the flash was going off and I just hit the shutter button and was taking photos continuously, which is how I got this shot. So let's go ahead and talk about the camera equipment first. Okay, the camera equipment, pretty straightforward. You guys already know I got my Canon 80D. Pretty straightforward, like I said, it's pretty fast on the continuous mode, so it takes six to seven photos per second. As for the lens, as you can obviously see, it's using the fisheye. You can use any lens here. You can even use an ultra wide angle, but I wanted to go with the widest angle lens possible so I can get the most in the scene. And I even made a, made a point to put my hand on the bar and be able to take a photo of me grabbing for dear life while that thing goes into the past. Definitely one of the coolest things when you walk up here in Animal Kingdom is that you see this little beauty, which is the Tree of Life. Okay, so we're heading to Dino Land, which is where Dinosaur is located. So we're actually going to take a right. We're going to go this way. And you can see it right there on the sign. Okay, so let's head over there now. Dino Land USA. We're getting close, guys. We're getting close. Let's go inside. You guys ready to go into the Dino Institute? I am. Let's head inside there now. For this is a really cool ride. Um, the only, the only thing that I do not like of this ride is actually it's a little dark. Um, for example, there's some really good photo opportunities at the beginning when some of the dinosaurs are still, but once it starts cracking and the stuff starts happening, it gets pretty difficult to take some photos in there. So, um, just to give you a heads up on that. I wonder if he knows how to get on the ride. Probably does. Okay, now for camera settings and type of ride like this, we're going to be using the aperture mode. And like I mentioned before, we're going to be using the spray and pray method. And the aperture mode, the reason for that is that I want to be able to use the lens open as wide as possible. In this case, since I've been using the fisheye, the fisheye goes away to 3.5. If you got a prime lens like a 1.8, set it to 1.8 because you want to be able to let it most light as possible. Now on the ISO, I am going to set it to a really high ISO because I want the shutter speed to be able to compute itself as high as possible. And I've done this before on the other ride, so just in case. So again, I'm going to set my ISO for this shot, actually I'm going to set it to 10,000. So what's going to happen is that the, the camera is going to try to compensate by adjusting the shutter speed to something really fast. And hopefully I'll be able to freeze the action on this ride. Okay, so without further delay, let's get on the ride. Okay, so let's see. Obviously the exposure looks good, but obviously this part looks a bit white, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring on the highlights. There we go. 
Maybe a little bit here on the exposure, maybe it's a little too much. Bring down the shadows, I think that that's fine. Actually the shadows in a dark ride like this will actually hide stuff, so we probably want to go the other way to bring it out. Um, blacks, let's bring the black down, like I like to do this before I do the whites. And white gives it that little popping factor. Um, clarity, well, we can touch this. We don't want to ruin it. If we put it like this, it sort of like adds too much weird effect to it. But again, if that's what you like, go for it. So just a tad, dehaze, yes, a little bit to get a little bit of the high end off of it. Um, I don't think I need to do saturation. I'll just give it a top five or something like that. And um, here, this is still a little too bright. So I'm going to go ahead with my adjustment brush and I'm going to select highlight. I'm gonna bring that all the way down. Let's probably do like a 50% here. And that way I bring this down even more. You can see how it's going down really little, but it's going down. Because that way I, it doesn't be that bright. And maybe a little saturation from the top on the top one where we were at, a little vibrance. There you go, guys, there's the photo. Now, if we want to add more effect to it, we can also do a vignette on it as well. Which is all the way down here. And we'll do a dark one so it focuses into the middle of the of the image. Like that. There we go. And that's it. I didn't touch any of the other stuff because it really wasn't necessary. I'm not going to play with the sharpness because if I do, it's going to probably look a little more grainy than what it already is. Again, this is a uh, shot at ISO 10,000. So... It's, uh, you can imagine how, how grainy it is, but it's still a pretty good photo because we got that good, um, we were able to catch the strobe light when it went off and, it, and catch the photo and again, shot with the fisheye. Okay, so that's it. There's the photo, guys. That's how quick it was to edit this one. Nothing fancy. We didn't have to use Photoshop or anything. That's it. There's your image, guys. Now go ahead and you try it. See if you can get that image. Uh, again, uh, spray and pray. See if you can get it, guys. Okay, guys, so that's it. So if you like what you saw and like the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button and pressing the bell so you get notified of future videos. I usually post new videos every week. Some could be of editing, some could be another stuff, but it's always regarding Disney photography. Until then, guys, stay awesome.